and welcome to the channel. My name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching episode 3 of We Are. Last episode we saw the beginning of Pum and Peem's slave blackmail thing they've got going. The thing I find annoying about the situation is that Pum still hasn't apologised and he has the upper hand. I personally think that Peem was justified to, I mean I know kicking him in the balls must have hurt a lot and he went to receive medical treatment for it but like he didn't say sorry and that's the most infuriating thing especially when it's a stranger for some reason when someone just won't say sorry when they clearly did wrong and now he's blackmailed him into being his slave and it's just annoying because I think that he was the one in the wrong in the situation and yet he's the one that gets to bloat and has all this power over Peem. There's also the threat because Peem doesn't want anyone to know about it so like he can just say oh if you don't come I'll tell your friends about it. So yeah Peem's put himself in a difficult situation by making that a stipulation because people are going to have questions. Someone's going to see them together and my prediction is that it's going to be Q. I think Q's going to be the one that's going to work work out that something's going on between them because he seems very observant. Someone's going to see them together and they're going to have to come up with lies and it's going to be a whole kerfuffle. Um, they did have some sweet moments though and Pum does seem like he is starting to fall for Peem. At least he's starting to like him. I don't know, he gave a few smiles which looked very romantic to me. So I'm hoping that going forward he might treat him a bit nicer but one can only hope. We found out that Satang's character has liked Q for a long time, since high school. He was unsure about what to choose as his major. His mum wanted him to practice medicine, but he didn't seem like he was too into it. And then Q walked in and started drawing and he was like besotted with him. Eventually it changed his mind and he decided to take up fine arts. I don't think it would be based off that one interaction. I reckon he must have like, maybe they both frequented that coffee shop. And so he saw him drawing there all the time and like that made him want to change. If it's based on that one, one time he met him, <laughs> that is crazy. But that adds a bit of cute backstory. I think that's so sweet that, you know, Q is his mentor now, but he was also the one that inspired him in the first place. And he potentially doesn't even know. I don't think he knows. I don't know. We'll see. And Tan and Fang were cute as well. Tan constantly selling out his friends <laughs> so that he could spend time with Fang. But Fang didn't seem like he was completely repulsed by Tan. So that's a win. At first I thought he was because he didn't seem too into him like hanging around. But um, even he seemed to find Tan endearing when he was making those moves because he's not shy about it is he? He's a braver person than I am whipping out a phrase like the car is leaning and then putting his head on his shoulder. <laughs> that is a cheat code though. He could just spend a lot of time doing the painting of the quite quickly. Oh his name is... how do you pronounce it? Okay, his name reads as Toy, but I didn't hear him say it in that sentence, so I don't know. I like to get the pronunciation correct. <laughs> because of you! Yeah, he definitely does it though. He can't know. Mung! Don't try go! ไม่เจอนานเลยเนาะเดี๋ยวงงมึงตายไปละไอ้พี่ <laughs> like he left. The flowers stayed though. Hey. <laughs> mm. 
the cringe. <laughs> that painting in the background. I like that one as well. That's a grey sky. He did say he does a lot of um, landscape stuff, didn't he? The art is just so good. <laughs> That would be so cool if he keeps those in water oh. and we get to watch them move over the sea. It's just like their relationship. Well. Well. เมื่อคืนน่ะเมาหนักมากเลยรู้มั้ยอ่ะก็แค่ฉลองนิดเดียวเองเพิ่งส่งงานเสร็จอ่ะฉลองกันบ่อยจังเลยเนาะวันก่
นี่ตัวเราต้องไปทำโอเคงั้นเดี๋ยวไปกินข้าวก่อนนะขอบคุณสำหรับขนมบ๊ายบายบ๊ายบายโอ้ไอ้พุ่มตอนนี้มันไปไหนวะโอ้ยอดแล้วมึงอ่ะบอกินของตีว่าจะเลี้ยงข้าวซะหน่อยเดี๋ยวสี่โมงเย็นเราต้องตึกคณะมึงนะเดี๋ยวกูไปรับมึงแรงเงาเป็นไหมเนี่ยอุ้ยสิอิซ่าเห็นไปไหนวะกูไปก่อนนะ He took like blacked out windows ใครไม่รู้จักอะไรอ่ะรู้จักปะโอ้ไม่รู้จักใครไม่รู้ช่วงนี้พีแม่งทำตัวแปลกๆน่าสงสัยหรือว่ามันแอบพบคันไม่บอกเราวะไม่รู้เหมือนกันนะว่าใช่แน่ๆเลยไม่เคยเห็นเขาใครแต่ก็เลยคิดคิดใจเชงแหมมึงโทรหามาเลยจ้าโอเปซิโอลืมไปดิมึงจะกินอะไรเมื่อไหร่กูไม่กินกูไม่หิวมวยแพ้อะไรใช่ปะเอาอันนี้ครับแล้วก็อันนี้ครับเอาเรียบร้อยแค่นี้แล้วครับขอบคุณครับ Is he gonna make him pay for the meal or something? I'm just expecting the worst out of this situation. อะไรชื่อโหลวะชื่อโหลวะชื่อมึงไม่โหลวมั้งไม่เรียกมึงมาทำอะไรเนี่ยมึงคงไม่ได้อยากหาเพื่อนกินข้าวมั้งเปล่ากูแค่อยากชวนมันมาคุยเรื่องข้าวตกลงเฉยๆเพราะว่ากูยังไม่ได้บอกเลยว่ามึงต้องทำอะไรบ้างไม่มึงต้องทำความสะอาดห้องให้กูซักผ้าแล้วก็ทำตามทุกอย่างที่กูบอกซีนี่มันจะมากเกินไปแล้วถ้าเกิดเทียบกับสองแสนอะกลัวมันไม่มากไปนะยูรักสับสับไพรส์สับพับไม่เสียโดนมากแค่ไหนกว่ามันจะเสร็จอะกูก็แค่บอกมาว่าราคาเท่าไหร่อะเดี๋ยวกูจ่ายให้เลย Say it costs two hundred k. Yeah. กูน่าจะให้มึงก็ตอบเมื่อมึงทำหน้าที่ของมึงเสร็จเท่านั้นเขาจะจะจะจะจะจะจะจะจะจะจะจะจะ Oh my God! Say. Let's go back, na. Yang. What is it? I want shopping. Again? Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go. 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 ช่วยกูถือไหมหรือกูหาให้ร้านต่อไปกันนี่ก่อนมึงนี่ต้องใช้ Louis Vuitton Oh my god, he's going to the proper branded places as well. Oh, you damn. I couldn't imagine having that much money to spend. Get up. Hello, what are you doing? I'm red. Red, right? Red, right? Is it normal? Yes. It's about 150 baht. นี่ครับว้าวสักครู่นะคะสองสามช้ามึงอะไปได้ยังอะฮะไอ้เจ้าเก่งยัง
ไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไ
Oh my god, he actually looks like he might cry. Oh my god, he actually looks like he might cry. Time does the mall close? Did they met up at four, and my mall closes at like five thirty. So <laughs> he's getting ready for bed. Twelve notifications. This is just so horrible. My peep supporter status is growing exponentially now. That might be the worst thing yet. Worse than the painting destroying, honestly, because waiting for someone is the most tedious thing. He should keep the stuff. ไม่ใช่อ่าไม่เป็นของคนอื่นเขาอ่ะของแฟนของเพื่อนแฟนเพื่อนอะไรล่ะกี่ไม่มีสักหน่อยอืมอืมเพื่อนก็เพื่อนก็ไม่เห็นสมัยนี้ใช้เงินกันเก่งจังเลยเนาะทั้งหมดนั่นเท่าไหร่ลูกจ๋าไม่รู้เหมือนกันอ่ะรู้ทั่วบ้านมันรวยแล้วแล้วน้องพิมพ์น้อยใจหรือเปล่าลูกน้องพิมพ์อยากได้ไหมเดี๋ยวอาไปซื้อให้วันเกิดเดี๋ยวอาพาไปซื้อหรือว่าไปเลือกกันที่ร้านได้ลูกจ๋าไม่ต้องห่วงพี่ไม่ได้ชอบของแบบนี้อยู่แล้วไม่เหมือนคนแถวนี้ Maybe she pulled something from the bags and. อะไรงั้นเดี๋ยวพี่ไม่นอนก่อนแล้วกันของพวกนี้มันเยอะอ่ะ Doesn't look like she has a similar style. สองพิมพ์เลยละคุณดีครับคุณได้ครับจ้าโอ้โหเป็นล้านเลยนะโอ้เป็นล้านเลยพี่ Amelia ไอพี่มึงกูอามึงค่ะ Oh, no, I'll do it. Ready, half, good night, half. Has he put two and two together that he left him? Or does he think he's just like vanished? ไปไหนมามึงปล่อยกูไว้คนเดียวอ่ะมึงโอเคใช่ไหมเนี่ยอะไรของมึงวะเฮ้ยไอ้คิวมึงสบายดีใช่ไหมมึงอยากก่อนตีนเอาดีดีเอาดีโทรมามีอะไรกูโง่เลยเนี่ยมึงอะไรหายไปไหนมาโทรไปก็ไม่รับเออนะธุระของกูนั่นไม่รับโทรศัพท์อ่ะกับบัตรโทรศัพท์หมดไงอืมแล้วที่มึงบอกว่ารอตั้งนานเนี่ยมึงรอใครฮีสเคยเป็นคนที่จะพิกอัพคุณละใช่ตลอดอะใช่ดีตลอดไม่หรอกแต่ขอบคุณมึงมากเลยที่เป็นห่วงกูอะใครห่วงกูเนี่ยนะห่วงมึงเอาชาร์ลคิวแข็งนะมึงอะเออกูก็เป็นห่วงแหละแต่กูอยากเสี่ยงมากกว่าแค่นี้ I really like you he just reminds me of me kind of because I worry about people but I don't like to show that I'm worried I I kind of just mask it with insults and <laughs> pretending I don't really care but secretly I do worry a lot <laughs> I'm just too embarrassed to say it I feel like that's what Q is like as well and he's always there to help people even though he always complains about doing it you know he's like oh why have you dragged me here in the first episode I think P asked him to help out with the gallery and he was like oh why have you dragged me here I'm too busy for this but he did it anyway you know um the kind of person that complains but doesn't really mean it <laughs> Oh my god! Malls close at 10 p.m. in Thailand. No, Pave. He was waiting for like four hours minimum. 
Oh, my poor boy. Oh, that hurts. All that time wasted that could have been spent redoing the painting. I love that Toy is always so happy to see everyone. He's always like, oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> Trying hard to suppress a smile uh, there, Q. โอ้โหนายเทพชิวมาช่วยเอาไปตรงนี้เทพได้เหรอปะอืมเฮ้ยเตยอะไรมองแม่มันลงหน้าตกน้ำเลยโอ้ I'm so invested in their backstory and how long Toya's liked him because if he's liked him since the first time he saw him or you know since high school being in this close proximity and like being this close must be a dream come true and Q, Q can actually have really nice moments with him so it's just like the recipe of falling for someone even more isn't it I'm sorry. and sometimes it does seem like he gets a little bit jealous of um, Toy and Q. Hey, Oh, oh my god. The shirts, the shirts. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh, it is so different when he's nice and tender. <laughs> that's been the question in my mind though, which couple will be the first to kiss? Oh, and that thumbnail is um... I feel like we've had kisses teased already. So I thought that could potentially have been a moment. I think it'll probably be um... I don't know actually. I was, I was gonna say, I think it'll probably be Poom and Peen that are the first couple to kiss, but they feel like they're the furthest away from being a couple right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's worried about him. <laughs> He doesn't sound angry with that tone of voice. He sounds scared. Oh, God. Yeah, see that tone shift when he messages Tan. Tan! <laughs> โอเคใช่มั้ยโอเคดิยิ้มล่าเลยไม่รู้ว่าลมดีมาจากไหนอ๋ออ๋อไอ้ดิโซเฟสโตอ๋อไอ้ดิโซเฟสโตอ๋อ
One thing for sure, do not give him back those bags. Doggy! It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> He's called Granny Cafe. What? What is it? Blue Pungana, when when Kong Lunong is an eat gunner. Oh, and then you'll find Q. Oh, Ding Magley. Shama, Pia Ungle. Are you can yet? The female man called Sutter. Nay, Chajan. อิจฉาอะไรวะก็เขาก็น่าจะอายุพอกับเตยอ่ะดูสิ่งที่เขาทําสิเมื่อดูเตยตอนนี้เตยคนบางคนอ่ะนะมันเกิดมาพร้อมกับความคิดเศษบางอย่างอันนั้นเราก็ทําอะไรไม่ได้อ่ะแต่ไม่ว่าคนที่เกิดมาพร้อมกับพรสวรรค์หรือว่าคนธรรมดาถ้าเกิดอยากเก่งจริงอ่ะมันก็ต้องลงมือมันก็ต้องตั้งใจทําจริงๆป่ะ That's true อีกหลายน้องคนเนี้ยมันทุ่มเทของมันมากจริงนะมันแทบจะหายใจออกมาเป็นกระดานวาดภาพเลยอีกอย่างนะที่ไม่อยากให้เราอ่ะเอาอายุมาเป็นเครื่องวัดความสําเร็จคนเราไม่ว่าจะเก่งตอนอายุเท่าไหร่อ่ะมันก็น่าชื่นชมเหมือนกันหมดป่ะแล้วทำไมอยู่ดีถึงพูดถึงเรื่องรูปในร้านอ่ะปกติไม่เห็นเคยพูดถึงเลยพอดีช่วงนี้เต้ยสนใจเรื่องการมาดรูปอ่ะหรอแล้วจะเข้ามาเรียนศิลปกรรมแบบพี่ป่ะเต้ยดูตัวช้าไปหน่อยอ่ะถ้าสอบเข้าน่าต้องฝึกหนัก You're literally in like your third year high school แต่พี่ว่านะถ้าเกิดเต้ยตั้งใจแล้วก็พยายามทำมันจริงๆอ่ะพี่ว่ายังไงเองก็ทำได้ Oh I love these little tidbits we're getting I really hope that he's got pictures up in that shop now the granny cafe but he's so right because I'm often jealous of anyone and everyone <laughs> that is good at something but on the other hand most of the time to master a skill he has to put a lot of time and effort into it which I can't be bothered to do. <laughs> Sometimes I think, oh, I, I'd really like to learn that language, but then I can't be bothered to put the time and effort into doing it, you know? My niece is amazing at drawing, but she does it all the time, every day, on her phone. She does, like, digital art. She's always on her phone drawing things, and she's like, look what I did today, and I'm like, oh, my God, <laughs> how? Um, but she, she enjoys it, so she does it. I think that's the balance. You have to find something you enjoy and something you're good at. That's why medicine wouldn't have been the right route for Toy because he's doing it because someone wants him to, not because he's actually passionate about it. Whereas with the fine arts, he's getting really good at it and he's passionate about it too. Also, if you're in high school and you don't know what you want to do yet, you are not too late, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> Toy saying it's too late for me, but he's still in high school is just the most untrue statement ever. 1% of people know what they want to do when they're in high school. Good for them, but that's not the norm. <laughs> Oh, how sharp was that pencil? See, talk die, no more. It's you, Len, and I do see. Now, learn what I need. Now, learn what I love, Diaba. Oh, I'm sorry, Diaba. 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 I'm sorry, Diaba
อคาเตอร์ฮะคาเตอร์อ่ะไม่มีเหรออ๋อเมืองเหล่าเตรียมไว้หลายๆอันเวลาทำงานมันจะเป็นต้องใช้นะเออนี่ปีสูงนะเรียนสายเมืองคืนนี้นะไปแล้วทำไมพี่คิวไม่เคยเห็นเลี้ยงขนมเตยบ้างเลยเพื่อนคนอื่นนะพี่หลายเขาเลี้ยงขนมตลอดกูช่วยงานมึงเยอะแล้วไงโอ้ยงานก็ส่วนงานสิเต้ยอยากกินขนมอ่ะพี่ไอพีมนะยังเลี้ยงขนมเต้ยมากกว่าพี่คิวมึงก็ไปน้องไอพีมดิโอ้ยไม่ใช่แบบนั้น Stole some sacks this morning. กูให้หัวใจมึงเลยนะเว้ยชี้งกอืมครับครับคุณแท่งอ่ะเยอะแล้วเยอะแล้วเดี๋ยวเอาเจพิมเนี่ยเจอตัวยังตัวอะไรตัวเฮียมั้งเอาคุยกูอยู่ไม่ใช่หรอตัวนึงอ่ะเอาดีๆดิกูหมายถึงคนที่ปล่อยมึงรออ่ะชังแม่งเถอะ He's still going with it I love it ต้องชอบคิวไปปะเออเดี๋ยวตามไป He's in a foul mood now Start it now. Hair's going up. Yeah, ni ma, kudi kanan ni. You just strolls up like everything's normal. Hello. Oh, he's gonna see them this time. He must know that's his car, right? Let me pee, Miwa. มึงเรียกกูมาทำอะไรมึงก็บอกมาทำฟ้าให้กูหน่อยดิขึ้นสภาอีกหน่อยพอดีว่าเครื่องสภามันเสียวอะ I think you're the one that's out of order mate ไอ้ทำไรเนี่ยเอ้าก็สักพายมึงไงนี่ไงมึงจะบ้าเหรอทำไมเสื้อกูขาดหมดเลยก็เครื่องมันพายมึงพายก็ต้องทำอย่างนี้ไงมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึงหยุดเลยมึ
How do they do this? I cannot stare at someone for that length of time. For the love of God, do not kiss. Do not kiss him, Peep. He doesn't deserve it. His face is dripping. ไปออกไปได้แล้วเกียร์กาอีกสักแล้วให้ผมเลยไว้ผมเลยไว้ฟังดีๆแต่เล่นกระจกนะกูตื่นแล้วเนี่ยเพิ่งมาเกียร์ก
โอ้โหไอคิวเวลาร้องเพลงเนี่ยพูดหล่ออ่ะมาชนกันหน่อยชนชนอ้าวมาไงเนี่ยอ๋อพอดีผมมากับเพื่อนผมพี่เห็นลูกพี่นั่งกันอยู่อ่ะก็เลยแวะมาทักซะหน่อยแล้วนี่อ๋อรุ่นน้องไอ้สายด้วยก่อนนี่น้องที่กูรู้จักเฮ้ยมาชมกันหน่อยอ่ะมาให้ใช่ดิชนไม่ใช่เพื่อนอะไรจะลอยสวิตเดอร์แล้วนี่เรียนศิลปกรรมเหรอครับพี่ก็ชอบงานศิลปะเหมือนกันเลยอ้าวเหรอคะพี่เออพี่ชอบงานเลยเนาะก็จริงๆจะเป็นเนี่ยทำไมมึงไม่ส่งงานมากดแก้วอ่ะอ๋เอได้รู้สึกว่าก็ยังวาดได้ไม่ดีพอที่จะส่งอ่ะยังไม่ได้ลองส่งเลยมึงรู้ได้ไงว่าดีไม่ดีเออแล้วนี่กลับยังไงครับให้พี่ไปส่งไหมไม่ต้องครับรุ่นน้องผมผมดูแลได้งั้นเดี๋ยวผมกลับโต๊ะก่อนดีกว่าพี่พอดีเพื่อนรอนานแล้วไว้เดี๋ยวเจอกันใหม่นะครับเออเออชอบดีไว้ That is embarrassing Hey Do not try to his turn I hope he feels guilty. I hope he freaking apologizes. Mungoi, you lie, you lie. Who? 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 What? 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 คือกูไปดีเรื่องเพื่อนคนหนึ่งมา right. มันมีเพื่อนอยู่คนหนึ่งเว้ย The classic ทีนี้มันกับเพื่อนก็ไปให้กันเนมันบอกกับเพื่อนมันว่าเออเดี๋ยวมันจะไปทำธุระแต่จริงๆแล้วมันก็ไม่ได้มีธุระอะไรหรอกก็แค่อยากแก้เพื่อนอีกคนหนึ่งนั่งรอเฉยๆอะแต่จริงๆแล้วก็ไม่ให้นั่งรอนานขนาดนั้นเว้ยเพราะคิดว่าเดี๋ยวสภาพมันจะคงกลับไปเอง Logic would state If you don't, if you want to prank someone and not make them wait, you'd ring them after an hour, or you would come back after an hour and see if they're still there. You wouldn't leave them to fend for themselves till closing time. You'd have thought he'd messaged after an hour and said you can go home now, not waited until he was going to bed and then trying to call him. ที่ไหนได้มันก็นั่งรอจนห้างปิดแล้วก็ปวดมากด้วยก็เลยอยากรู้ว่า I hope they call him an asshole. You don't know. I'm not sure. I'm just telling you that I'm fine. What's going on? 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 Freaking serious? Oh, but you've outed yourself. Lol. Why? Because you don't have to wait for that long. But what about the first time you met him? I just want to wait for him. Is that right? He's not the best. I'm telling you, it's not about me. He knows it's you. Give it up. Oh, I'm going to go back. ไม่เจอเฮ้ยภูมิอย่าลืมไปถามเพื่อนมึงด้วยนะเว้ยว่าเขารอไหมอะ That's just not an important factor เฮ้ยเพื่อนมึงอยู่ไหนวะไอพี่มาอยู่ไหนถามทำไมอะคือกูมีเรื่องอยากคุยด้วยนิดหน่อยวะมึงดูมีเรื่องกับเพื่อนกูบ่อยไหมไม่รู้ไม่เป็นโมโหอะไรมาคงนั่งแก้งานอยู่แถวนี้แล้วมั้งก็มีคนทํางานมันพัง
จะต้องทําใหม่ไหมครับเออแล้วมันอยู่ไหนล่ะข้างตึกเอาโอเคเกี่ยวว้าวไอ้สิ่งฟินิชว้าวเขาทำได้ในแค่วันแล้วมันเพียงพอที่จะได้ไปต่อมีอะไรก็มึงเป็นเบสกูนี่แต่ว่าหายได้หายตายเลยนะนี่รู้ที่มึงวาดอ่ะเออก็ใกล้เสร็จแล้วนี่ใช่แล้วพอเสร็จนะมึงจะไม่เห็นหน้ากูอีกงั้นมึงอีกเพิ่งรีบายเสร็จได้ปะบอสมึงจะตามตามตัวอย่างที่กูบอกจริงๆใช่ปะมึงจะให้กูทำอะไรมึงก็บอกมางั้นมึงช่วยเอาทอดให้กูได้ปะกูขอโทษ The world cheers <laughs> Finally I think he could do better than that though We need a whole ass apology เฮ้ยมึงโอเคปะเนี่ยมึงไม่ได้ป่วยใช่ไหมอูงก็ไม่ได้รอนนะเดี๋ยวกูไปส่งทางคาดเนี่ยก็เลยมึงขอบคุณช่วยหูวิน้ำอร่อยอ่ะมันก็น้ำปกติอ่ะก็มึงเป็นคนให้เนี่ยเฮ้ยสายเฮ้ยมาแล้ววันนี้เสือเพิ่งเสร็จอ่ะสมองมันจะไหลออกมาแล้วมองอะไรเนี่ยก็ก็เห็นพี่ชิวชอบใส่กูฟังตลอดเลยก็อยากรู้ว่าพี่ชิวฟังเพลงอะไรหรอAnd it's like we get something with everyone next episode. Okay, I said it in the intro. I hope that Peem Poom is going to be nicer to Peem from now on because it looked like he was falling from last episode. Then he goes and does the worst thing so far in this episode by abandoning him and making him wait all that time. That oh, oh. he has some making up to do. Like he was a little bit nice. In some cases, this episode, buying him food and buying him that drink, you know, not making him pay for stuff. But he has some real making up to do in my eyes after the waiting debacle this episode because that was so mean. And Peem seemed genuinely concerned that he hadn't come back, and he was planning to text him like. Are you okay? He even messaged Tan and asked if he was okay because he was too shy to message him himself. Like he was—he actually thought something had happened to him, and it turns out he just left him and was in a particularly good mood that day. That's the biggest burn of all, isn't it? I don't know why he's so happy today. Oh, because he pranked you. Oh my goodness. So that's infuriating. I'm glad he said sorry. I hope that when they continue off next episode, he says he's sorry for the painting. He's sorry for everything, like not just I'm sorry. He should be saying more than that, considering all the crap he has pulled. And he's saying don't finish the painting yet because he clearly wants him around more. But how about you let him finish the painting and then you can hang around in a more friendly capacity? You don't have to have him be your slave all the time. Come on, there are nicer ways to go about this. But maybe he'll, maybe he wants to keep him around so that he can make it up to him. I don't know. I, I keep hoping for the best for him and that he does something worse. He had Tan and Fang crumbs this episode. One scene where he bought him that dessert and Poom had to pretend it was from him. And he said thank you and Tan like, 
<laughs> he was so good to get him saying thank you and he wasn't even saying it to him. I hope he liked the dessert for Tan's sake. I really hope he liked it. I think his soul would be crushed if he found out he didn't enjoy the dessert. Also, crumbs with the fourth couple. Pan is one of them. I, I don't know the other's name. I really like them and I want to see more of them. I know there's probably issues with them. They probably had to have scenes cut because they had to refilm all their scenes. But I really like them. They treat each other so differently to the rest of the friendship group and I loved that scene when they were like just focusing on each other and it made Tan feel even more lonely. His goal was to be with people so that he would feel less alone and then it, he ended up practically third wheeling them because they act like a couple already but they're just obviously not one but they clearly like look out for each other and rely on each other. Pan definitely relies on him. The blowing on the mouth I can't say I'm a fan of. <laughs> that is a new trope I found that I don't like. I just don't like things to do with the mouth. I also don't really like when someone's got food around their mouth and someone wipes it off. Especially when they lick the finger afterwards. That is gag worthy. I just find it so gross. I don't know why. But I find it so cute if it's something else. Like when uh, Q and Toy were playing with the clay and uh, Q started wiping the clay off his forehead. That I find cute. But anything to do with the mouth, I just don't like it. I don't know why. <laughs> but that was so funny. That was such a funny scene. Pun just being inco incoherent, eating a spicy dish. And um, oh, I've just got to look up the name. Chain, right, chain. Oh, I I do, that does ring a bell now actually. Um, chain, having to work out what he's saying and like just doing anything and everything. He feels like the mum friend who just looks out for everyone but in particular he's got his baby in Pun. Pun is just chaotic and it feels like he really relies on him because I don't think he'd survive out in the world by himself. Um, and then Q and Toy were really cute this episode as well. Uh, we got another flashback and I really liked that scene yet again. I think the cafe owner gave some really good advice to Toy. And I think it's advice that anyone watching can take away, especially if you're in high school or college or something. Like, it's, it's not too late for you. But realistically speaking, for anyone, it's never too late to find out your passions. Q definitely is very protective over Toy. I think he does have feelings for him. They definitely mutually like each other. But whether Q has admitted it himself, I don't know. Toy is 100% aware that he likes him, but Q, I don't know. He certainly does like him though. And even in episode one, I think there was a scene where it seemed like he kind of got jealous over Peem and Toy. And sometimes there is that little inkling there because I like that uh, Toy is so close with Peem as well. It's like he's not just hanging out with them because he likes Q, but he actually gets along with Peem as well. And they have a really nice dynamic. But sometimes you do see Q give that look of jealousy, as if he's a bit jealous of how they get along. But um, Toy certainly is head over heels for Q, so he has nothing to worry about. And it, because Q is kind of a stony person, it's so much more meaningful when he has those tender moments, like when he was rubbing uh, Toy's head and even that whole playful fighting scene and giving him that piece of candy when you see someone that's hard soften up i i think it hits more because it's like oh you're breaking him down he he can be nice <laughs> but cube is secretly a sweetheart anyway and i really like how he stands up for his friends as well and he worries about his friends like he kept questioning peem as to what happened even though peem won't say anything he he does show that he cares and that he worries and um he stood up to him as well he was like oh someone's put him in a bad mood because they ruined his painting not letting him get away with what he did because Peem doesn't remind him enough of what he did quite frankly and I can't believe he tried to bypass him ditching him the mall he was like I thought I could forget about it hell no don't forget about it you you smush that in his face and confront him because he deserves to be called up on that kind of behavior that's for today guys thank you for my reaction to episode three of we are if you want early access to my we are reactions the link to the patreon page will be in the description below leave a like if you enjoyed and i'll see you next time for episode four bye